people have not been approaching simultaneous usage in a very dynamic way. Uh, there have been very loose associations between content on broadcast or on, on cable and on websites, uh, tosses by lower thirds, tosses by talent saying, hey, check us out. Advertisers saying, See, find out more about us at www.whatever.com. And, um, uh, and it's very loose, very hard to track. What hasn't happened yet to great extent is, a, is thinking of the four screens as basically being coordinated, uh, not dissimilar to the way audio was added to, to film back in the 1920s, um, adding another screen to the big screen experience. So people can move their attention from one screen to the other, or there's an integrated experience that's always right in front of them. And if there's a, a commercial running on the, on the television screen, there's other information to keep them interested um, on their pad or, or on their uh, mobile device. Uh, that has two purposes. One is it makes sure that the marketer's message gets through instead of being skipped, and it also increases or improves a consumer experience. Uh, where we've seen is data that indicates up to 70% of, um, of tablet and mobile owners are using those devices at the same time they're watching television. But much, most of that use is pretty disparate. It's not tied directly to the TV show. People are thinking about screens as standalones, and so they're launching a campaign here and that same campaign over there or a different one, but they're not trying to provide an integrated experience between the multiple handheld screens and the television, despite the fact that 70%, it appears, of people with pads or mobiles are using those at the same time they're watching TV.